natural successor in the number 10 shirt to the club's legendary hero Rodney Marsh, who'd been sold to Manchester City. Bowles immediately suited the homely club and its fans. In December 79, Stan Bowles moved from QPR to Nottingham Forest for £250,000, where his skills were soon assimilated into the team Brian Clough was rebuilding to retain the European Cup. It was an odd partnership, to say the least. Archdisciplinarian Clough and the wayward but highly skilled Bowles, and it didn't last. So Bowles moved to 2nd Division Orient and then quickly to 3rd Division Brentford for £25,000. Brentford are having a good run and are at home to Oxford tomorrow in a game that could boost their promotion chances. Brentford got a bargain, but does manager Fred Callaghan think Stan is still a star? Yes, I do, Michael. Um, I'm sure, even at this present time, I'm sure Stan could play at the highest level, which is in the first division. You know, I think if, if he'd have been playing in the first division, I'm sure he would be going to Spain in the summer. Um, I think he's done excellent for us, you know, and I think he's still a star player. What a tribute. Uh, do you have a twinge when you see that QPR are 90 minutes from Wembley? Not really, Michael. I, I, on reflection, I did think I made a mistake when I left QPR. But uh, no, not really. You say you made a mistake. Why? Well, uh, I hated it. I didn't have a very good time at Nottingham Forest, as you know. And I absolutely hated it at Orient, so it had to be put down to a mistake leaving QPR. And what about the semis tomorrow? First Tottenham? Well, I think Spur hope Spurs win. I, I think they will win. They've got the best players in the country, without a doubt. QPR? QPR, I think they'll win as well, because in Curry and Stainrod, they've got two outstanding match winners, and I think that the big occasion could suit them. And meanwhile, you'll be playing for Brentford against Oxford <laughs> United. Uh, how does a player of your skill feel in the third division? Um, well, it's not quite what I'm used to, but the crowd love me over there, and I just put on a show for them every week. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think that you've squandered your skills? No, never, never, never. Never occurred to me that I've squandered my skills. All I do is go out and entertain people every week. And what's your biggest regret then? Just leaving Queen's Park Rangers, because I would have been due for a testimonial, but at the time I couldn't refuse going to the European Champions. And then, when you look at the ordinariness of soccer today, much of it, and you mentioned Stane Orden Curry, how does a skillful player like you feel? Do you think the coaches have sort of coached the skill out of it? I don't really know, Michael, because I never listen to coaches. I never listen, I just do my own thing. I always have done. But don't, so they, get, know. don't they get angry with you? I don't know, I don't listen to them. They may as well be invisible for me. They might think you're rather arrogant. I am. <laughs> well, do you still hope that you might get back uh, to a second or first division club? Uh, no, I'm hoping to help them to get into the second division and then I'm thinking about leaving the country then. Leaving the country? Yeah. And what would you do? Well, I'm going to America, hopefully. What, to play? Yeah. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And uh, though the course fishing season closed three weeks...